General Ward, it is a great honor to present to you on behalf of the Africa Center for Strategic Studies the 2011 Visionary Award for Achievement in Peace and Security. Good afternoon to all of my distinguished colleagues. And Martin, thank you for using the term friends because truly friends for me in that lexicon is a joy for my wife Joyce and I to be present this afternoon. I don't know where to begin with acknowledging all of those who are here that I do know, that I've seen and had an occasion to, to speak with on numerous occasions, to listen to and Thanks, Mark, for emphasizing that for me. I try to listen, although Joyce says sometimes I don't listen too well. <laughs> and to, to be a part of this, this great week's worth of activity, where for so many iterations, the Africa Center for Strategic Studies has brought together senior leaders to talk about those things that impact all of us in our global community and to exchange ideas that can be used to further fertilize goodness that would occur on the African continent and in so doing have a multiplying effect on our global commons. Because to be sure, what goes on in Africa impacts all of us regardless of where we may live or work. And so the point that was raised by <coughs> Ambassador Bellamy as he talked about AFRICOM, I certainly echo and highlight. The time, while late in coming, clearly was right on time. I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge all the excellencies here in this audience. I thank you for your presence. I thank you for your being a part of this endeavor because it does symbolize the true nature of what we do in helping to create stability. It's not a one-legged activity that only talks about guns and bullets, but about a series of activities that highlight the interrelated nature of diplomacy, those aspects of governance, that truly are reflective and represent the best will of the people whom those governments serve. Those aspects of development that talk to economic momentum at whatever pace makes sense for the people involved. Those aspects of social activity manifesting themselves in things such as health, education that propels societies forward and an environment that is secure enough for all of that to happen. Truly an integrated requirement. So Excellencies, thank you for being here representing that aspect of what we do and what this endeavor towards stability is all about. To my colleagues in uniform from across the continent and its island nations. Good to see you. Good to see you continue to engage in this dialogue. To my distinguished friends and colleagues from my government, Department of Defense, the interagency, other parts of our structure, non-governmental organizations, Thanks for being here as you take forward your role in this noble endeavor. And to two good friends who I've been privileged to know for a while, privileged to be a part of their ceremonies. When General Amin Sisei was awarded his visionary award, I happened to be there present. They're in the Ghanaian Embassy here in Washington, D.C., where I was asked to talk about AFRICOM in those days. 
and to begin this journey, as Ambassador Bellamy pointed out, to cause hopefully a greater understanding, but to be sure, to leave there and let's go out and just do it and let those actions speak for themselves. Distinguished professional, distinguished man, distinguished friend, Martin Luther Agua, General Retired Nigerian Armed Forces. Martin, thank you for your kind words. Thank you for listening to me and showing up with your beautiful bride this occasion. So you listen as well. Ruth, good to see you too. I recall one meeting that Martin and I were, were present at that said, Martin, where is Ruth? Ah, oh, she didn't come. Mm, Joyce would not be happy, buddy. <laughs> Great to see you again, and obviously, Ruth, you as well, and my very best to you both, your daughter and your recent graduate as well. And host of friends. Peter, I don't know what Mark did to drag you out of, you know, to get you back up here this week, but it's certainly great to see you, Ambassador uh, Chavez, who when I went to UCOM as the Deputy Commander and made my first trip to the African Center, one of the very first things that I did, I said, Peter, we're going to make this relationship work, buddy. And uh, it is working. So thank you for your leadership during those years, this entire ACSS staff, Mark, what you've done to continue that along. Important, so important, vital, right? It is indeed a opportunity for me to remark on what this past three and a half years has meant for me as a profession, as an officer. After having served 40 years wearing the cloth of, of my nation, to have ended my career as the commander of the United States African Command, I could think of no higher or better position to have held. And I am absolutely, as you pointed out, Martin, you said, well, we think it was your best assignment, to be sure, to be sure, the privilege of serving on this great, great team. And as the comments read by Ambassador Bellamy that were sent by Ambassador Yates, my close associate, it is a team. And all that we do is about promoting and enhancing the team. Lest any of us think it is about us, then you ought to turn in whatever you're smoking. <laughs> it is a high honor and distinct privilege to have been selected as a recipient of this year's Africa Center for Strategic Studies Sixth Annual Visionary Award. I'm deeply humbled and richly appreciative to Ambassador Bellamy and the Africa Center. The work that all of us here attempt to do in support of peace and security in Africa is noble and important work. It's important for Africans, it's important for humankind, it's important for our global community. My role in all that was a minor one, but one that I do look forward to continuing in varying capacities. The pursuit of stability in Africa is a noble cause. As the landscape of that vast and wonderful continent and its island nations undergoes change from governments becoming more representative and accountable at the demand of the people, to coping with environmental situation that impacts the way people live and survive, we must pay attention to our collective approach to dealing with these challenges and these opportunities. The collective approach must be one that recognizes and is respectful of the differences that exist across the continent. It must, it must be mindful of the role that the nations of Africa have, as President Obama said in Ghana two years ago, and as acknowledged by the leaders of Africa and Africans themselves, the role that they have in leading this effort. I often recall the words of Nelson Mandela, who in 1996 talked about the African responsibility to take care of itself. 
from Northern Africa to Eastern Africa to Central Africa to Western Africa to Southern Africa. But as he also said, with the help of our friends. In this effort, having reliable partners, partners who listen and learn as opposed to dictating and demanding is important. Partners who seek to understand from the perspective of those who are most impacted when security and peace are lacking. Partners who know that development, economic and social development, good governance, effective governance, are essential pillars in the stability of the continent, along with the security that we who wear the uniform have taken a note to maintain. And it's not lost on me that I am the first American to receive this award from the Africa Center. Now, it is my trust that because of how I, indeed the entire U.S. Africa Command team, that I was privileged to lead for three and a half years, attempted to go about our business as good teammates with our partners in Africa, our partners here in the States, Department of State, and many of you who are here, the interagency, including AID, U.S. Agency for International Development, Treasury Department, Commerce, Energy Department, Homeland Security, Agriculture. I hope that our attempt to create that team in promoting our common work were all factors in this selection. And especially important to me was our partnership at AFRICOM with our teammates at the Africa Center for Strategic Studies. Each of these associations and relationships were and remain important to me. The work of promoting peace and security is an ongoing project. Today's news tells us that the task is not finished. But today's news also tells us that opportunities are present or they for sure can be created. Through our efforts together, we can create what I describe as the horizon of hope for this and successive generations where Africa, with all it has to contribute as a part of the global community, as a continent where its people are proud and flourishing and its friends are partnering for the good of all humankind. I truly appreciate this recognition, and on behalf of all the teammates with whom I served, and I see a teammate that was here during those early days as well, Teresa Whaley. Hi, Teresa. For all of us who endeavor to do something, not for self, but for the team, I thank you. I'm so richly appreciative of this high honor to have joined this distinguished group of ladies and gentlemen who you have found worthy of this visionary award for peace and security. I pledge my commitment to doing all I can as the days come forward to causing this noble goal that we all have to be one that not just us who sit here, but those who, like my little granddaughter, as they grow, will have a world where peace, stability, prosperity can be realized more than it might otherwise be, but because of our efforts, that becomes something that is a reality to them. Your being here, your participating in this week's worth of activities, and indeed your participation in all the activities promoted by the Africa Center, also tell Kip Ward that you have signed up for that endeavor as well. So thank you very much. Ambassador Bellamy, thank you. The Africa Center, great teammates. Don't forget me, I'm around. <laughs> and I look forward to all that we as a team will continue to do because that which we all love and want, stability, to be realized in ways never imagined. And so as a famous poet said, 
when things get tough, as they sometimes do, when the road that you're traveling is a bit rough and uphill, don't worry about that. That's the time when you reach down, you look to your left, and you look to your right. I know this is my right, but I'm creating a mirror effect here. You look to your left and your right, and you say, I'm not in this alone. My teammates who surround me are working together to move ahead. And that's the point that Ambassador Yates made in her comments that I would often say. What have you done today to make your teammate better? And when you say, huh, what I did has made a difference, we are all elevated. That's what this is about. High honor, I thank you. I appreciate your being here. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you very much.